we've lost so much over the years, and then when you have a chance to bring some of it back, it's, it's just absolutely an amazing gift, really. It's uh, grateful, and yeah, it's um, very heartfelt. Uh, it's very emotional. In our Mohegan beliefs, when someone creates something, whether it's the written word or whether it's, um, you know, a bowl or, you know, a piece of wampum, you imbue your spirit into those, um, into those objects. And we knew that Fidelia really wasn't keeping her diaries and her documents for the Mohegans of that present day that she was in, but it really was to leave a legacy behind for future generations. Adelia knew that she needed to preserve that language and those words. And so her work is extremely important to us because as we look at restoring our language now, just having her documents and her spirit come home to us is going to be very meaningful to our entire community. It was clear that the having the diaries um, with the Mohegan tribe as they work on this language project was really um, would be critical for its success. So we're pleased that uh, we'll be able to transfer them. In preparation for the transport of the uh, collection to Connecticut, every item was given an individual protective enclosure, which helps buffer any changes in the environment that they might experience along that journey. And then they're consolidated inside the custom-made clamshell box, which gives it physical and chemical protection during that time. We temporarily look after materials. That's, that's what we do. So we're very grateful that they're coming home in such good condition and proper yeah. care all these years. It's a privilege and an honor for us. We just are, are still, I guess, awestruck at the fact that you know, we're able to receive her words back into our community. She's going home.